Hey y'all, I'm Deidre and this is my October reading plan. So as you know, I am I am participating in Black and Winathon again this year as a co-host. I'll make sure I put the other co-host and um, a link to Bree's announcement and her Etsy shop in the description box. I also want to participate in Black SF Fathon that is created and hosted by Chloe at This Will Inverse. And I'll put her announcements and things like that in the description box as well. I also want to um, celebrate Hispanic heritage and I have a few books that bled over from September and that's okay because that celebration is from the 15th of September to the 15th of October. If you don't know what that is or you're not in the States, um, Hispanic Heritage Month is from September 15th through October 15th. It's four weeks and it celebrates the heritage and contributions made by members of the Hispanic community. With great fanfare, celebrations sweep across Latin America, Central America, Mexico, and Chile, commemorating each week's independence from week to week. So that's what that is. Um, I've seen, um, it depends on who you ask and generations, like it could be Latinx or Latin Heritage Month. Um, and I am just calling it by what it's called nationally and in my area. So I just want to honor that, that heritage. That said, I have already started and about halfway through Witchlings by Claire Bell Ortega. This will be my second thing that I've read by her. It's a good time. It's a middle grade sort of, not sort of, it's called Witchlings. And it's a lot of um, magical realism in there and it's just a good time right now. They're hunting monsters, kids, 12 year olds doing that. It's just sign me up. But along with uh, The Witchlings, I have a couple other books that I actually own physically. I got The Witchlings, I'm borrowing it from Hoopla in my library, but I own some physical copies of some books that I've been meaning to get to for a while and have owned for a while, but decided now is the time. First is Each of Us a Desert by Mark Ashiro. Um, wrote Anger is a Gift, and I love that book um, with my whole heart when I read it, I think in 2019, maybe 2020. And so I have just been following things that they've been um, writing ever since. And this is the first one I think that was published after Anger is a Gift. And I just have not gotten to it. I think Mark has published a couple other things since then. Um, and Mark uses they, them pronouns. So forgive me for that. But I have been following them for a while. And I just love their writing. And I just have been dragging my feet on this one and it's time then we have cemetery boys i have no excuse i pre-ordered this i either pre-ordered this or went to barnes and noble on my lunch break to buy this that's why it's, it's got the sticker the barnes and noble sticker on it um and it's an old sticker and i was just trying to get it off but i have no excuse for why i haven't read this no excuse and it's time and it's spooky season and it's got the fall colors and it's it's time and then last is another author that i've read um works from before and really enjoyed it i think i've read a short story by this author as well as their memoir and that is carmen maria machado and this book is her body and other parties i have had this <clears throat> I think I had this before or at the same time um, that I got in in the dream house and I just have not gotten to it I have since I bought this I have gotten more I have built more of a appreci appreciation for anthologies and short stories and so again it's time and so we are into what I'm going to be reading for Black Aweenathon. Um, I have just a few books. I mean, my TBR overall is sort of big. It's not that big considering how many books I typically read. Big nonetheless. Um, so first of all, this is also the only book, the only good book clubs pick for October. It's Nana by Brandon Massey. 
Only thing I really know about that is there's a horny grandmother. And then the second book I have on my Black Awinathon TBR is When the Reckoning Comes by Latanya McQueen. I'm looking at my phone by Latanya McQueen and I am just really excited to get into that book. It has just been on my radar since the cover was revealed and I I don't know what it is about the cover that is really calling to me but I'm ready. To, I might read that next. I might actually read that before Nana because we talk about it um in the group in our group chat so i want to be able to remember those details a little bit more clearly so i'll leave that for the end i think i'm going to read when the reckoning comes next um after i finish what i'm currently reading which is the witchlings i've already said then this book has really it's nothing against the book it's all about the way i read and my reading preference i prefer audiobooks um especially right now in my life but i have to finish in october 2022 for black awinathon i have to finish the undead truth of us by Brittany lewis that book is so beautifully written i love the metaphors i love the language i love the atmosphere but i do not have a audiobook and so i'm having to physically read it and i just don't have time nor can my body sit down <laughs> to to physically read these days but i am making a commitment to finishing it if i have to just dedicate a little bit of time every day in the mornings when i'm just sitting there zombied out drinking my coffee and trying to wake up I could read a few pages of this book every day for the whole month and the last book I have on my Black Awinathon TBR is Ace of Spades listen I think I had this on my TBR last year and I don't know what happened I wasn't in the mood I think there was too much hype surrounding this book I think too many people were talking about it um, which is also the case for other things that I've read but I just was not in the headspace to read this um, last year another one that I pre-ordered I have the I think the merch kept falling out so oh, here it is I have the pre-order merch in here just have not gotten around to it but it's time and then for Black SF thon there are three prompts and a group book. The first prompt is Genre Blender, a book that it's hard to set one genre for. Um, an author you've never read before is the second prompt. And the third one is a book or story that features rocks or gems. Those are the three prompts. And then the group read is Shoma's Land by Nisi Shaw, read by Katie Baker. I'm choosing to read this via audiobook, and that is the narrator. So those are the prompts. And what I have decided, I own all my books on my TBR um, for this readathon. So let's get into those. This one is another anthology that I've had for. I don't even know I don't remember maybe 20 2019 I've had this and just have not picked it up it is Terminus Tales of the Black Fantastic from the ATL this was edited by Milton L Davis um, he Milton has a YouTube channel and the, his, his his publishing house that published this um, he is an OG in the SFF um world and especially the black side of it and i just i don't know i haven't read anything by him or anything that he's put together and what's the theme for this video it is time the next one is going to fulfill i speaking of i have a feeling this one might have gems in it somewhere possibly or rocks i don't know but i'm hoping that we talk about or um stone mountain as a setting and I'm going to count that as a rock um and then this is an author I've never read before Morgan Jerkins this is Call Baby and what I am going to on top of a, a, an author I have never read before I am going to put this in the genre blender category it says engrossing unique and page turning Call Baby illuminates the search from for familiar connection the enduring power of tradition and the darkest corners of a human heart. I feel like there, I read somewhere earlier in the synopsis that there's magic involved. And I don't know what time setting this is. 
I have I have very little idea. I don't like to read synopses. I have a feeling that this is gonna have some kind of magical element to it on top of it. Just maybe just maybe um being a contemporary story, but I'm not sure. But I'm putting that in the genre blending category. And then the last book that I'm gonna be reading for Black SF thon is Sorrowland by River Solomon. Again, a book that I was supposed to have been done read. <laughs> um, I was supposed to read this with Erica when it came out, Erica from The Broken Spine. And I either couldn't afford to buy it at the time or I just wasn't in the mood for this. Um, when it came out, I'm not certain, but I have read a couple of other works by Rivers, the um, the Unkindness of Ghosts, and um, Blood is Another Word for Hunger, which is one of my favorite all-time stories, short stories, novellas, whatever you call that. That's it's one of my favorite. I still think about it all the time. Um, and if you want, if you need a quick win, it's gory and graphic, but read that. Anyways, I, I'm not even sure what this is about. There might be rocks or gems involved in this. There's mushrooms and flowers and nature. So there is a chance that there's rocks and gems in this. And I believe that this is a genre bending um, book as well. Last but not least, if, if that wasn't enough, I have two more books on my TBR slash plans that I want to get to this month. So I have Summoning Up Love by Sanithia Williams. This is a, a romantic suspense book. Um, it's about some kind of haunting, I believe, and it's giving spooky vibes, and I thought this would be a good season, a good month to read it. So it's on my plans. It's another one that I'm going to have to read as far as I know. Um, I'm going to have to read it physically, so it's on the back burner, but I do plan to get to it. And then I have Jaws by Peter Benchley. I'm going to read that as one of those, um, for the, <laughs> not that culture, but like for the horror culture of it all, I'm going to read that. Um, I don't think it's really a buddy read, but Yanni um, is going to be reading that. We're going to be sort of reading about it, maybe talking about it together. Not necessarily an official buddy read, but it's on my TBR. And I have an audiobook, so the likelihood of me getting to it is high. Okay, y'all, that is my, or those are my October reading plans. Let me know if you plan to read any of these books. Make sure you're still wearing your sunscreen, regardless of it getting cooler out. And I thank y'all for watching. Bye, y'all.